But you know, when you talk about that, and we're talking about help now, it's actually, it kind of is, is parallel because John, when they made help, and I want to bring up what Jennifer asked me to talk about, was that 50 years ago this week, the Beatles were in Paradise Island and they yes. were filming uh, um, uh, the second movie, Help. And that's where the scenes with the, the red paint and Ringo and the idol and uh, riding the bicycles. And, and the little towns. I've been there. I've been to both you know, places which are you know, particular to the film. And it just gives you chills to see it there, you know, you can almost see the Beatles right in front of you, you know, it's, playing it's around. fantastic, and they mentioned Paradise Island in all the interviews, but John crying out for help, it, it, it sort of is a little bit similar to your video. When I was younger, so much younger than today Never needed anybody's help in any way But now these days are gone, I'm not so self sure. Now I find a change of mind, opened up the door Help me if you can Get my feet back on the ground Everybody, won't, won't you please, please help me Help me, help me Ooh. Very nice. And what an album, what a film that was. And John said that was really a true cry for help. Mm. He had everything in the world he wanted, and there he was trapped in his own celebrity. Something that's hard to give up when you have all the riches coming. You in. always think, man, I would have been a Beatle. But, you, but you're trapped. You mm -hmm. can't go out of the hotel room. You know, you can't take a bus. You'd be swarmed. And you know what? And then this was the p period when Help was finished when they started their second tour. And one of the questions people would ask them, and it's in Ivor's book too, right. they just land in the city. What do you think of our fair city? And they, and they didn't want to be rude, but they go, we, we haven't seen it. We looked out of the window of an airplane yet. That's what George would say. We never got to see, you know, the city because we're always tied up in our rooms, you know. So that second tour, they basically repeated the success of the first tour. They took off again and they did all these cities in 1965. They ended up in New York again. And uh, they had an opportunity to play what has become the first stadium concert. Well, New York, we're talking Sid Bernstein and Shea Stadium. The first time ever that a pop group would play an entire baseball stadium. 56,500 yeah. if you're counting. Screaming fans, they came in on a helicopter and they ran out to this makeshift stage on second base and the public dress system, they had a few Vox columns, but it was still batting up next, <laughs> you know, George Harrison. So it was, you know, not that you could really hear them anyways, but Ed Sullivan came out and introduced them on that particular night. Ed Sullivan Productions filmed it for television, but the sound was pretty bad. Yeah, they ended up having to go back uh, when the tour was over and go back to Abbey Road Studios and re-record some of the songs. In fact, one of the songs, Honey Don't, they actually used the record, the recording, and matched it. Yeah, George, I mean, John wasn't too happy about it. You know, John, once he did something, he wanted to move on, and he says, you know, sod this, I don't want to do it. And Paul says, come on, we can do it, let's do it. And they recorded it. <laughs> John didn't even double twist and shout. He says, that, that's it, I'm done. Off to a party they went, and that was the end of that. And that's probably the reason it's never come out because uh, I talked to a friend of mine who, who is in touch with some of the Beatle family members and he said to me, you know, you have to have all four people have to vote on something. And if one person says, I don't like that camera angle, uh, it's not right. coming out. Right. So unfortunately, we don't know if we'll ever see that or let it be. Or, uh, but we have uh, great memories and there's awesome footage of it, of course, on the Beatles anthology. But the second US tour, okay, they survive, they come home and then they decide they're gonna start working on new music again. Uh, more of a, a, a way bigger step ahead from Rubber Soul was Revolver. Oh yeah, well Revolver, uh, they started to get experimental. Probably the most experimental song, and I believe the first song that they recorded for Revolver was a song that was based around one chord. And John was reading the Tibetan, Be Tibetan book, say that slowly, the Tibetan book of the dead. Turn off your mind, relax and float down the stream. It is not dying. It is not dying. Now they couldn't reproduce that live anyways because you've got three people holding tape loops with pencils. And it was a, really a mix that went right to the master. And backwards guitars. Backwards and guitar, it, yeah. uh, what sounds like a seagull, I believe is Paul laughing, spun around backwards as well. It, you know, it was a, a true media piece of its time. 
Yeah, hard to hard to replicate on stage. I mean, right. nowadays with sampling and everything, and maybe these guys will uh, do it in their show. Pretty amazing stuff. But uh, Revolver uh, actually was the album that kicked off the final U.S. tour, and you would think, okay, they're going to play all these songs from Revolver. We just mentioned that they didn't. But they went out on this final tour, and you had the Philippines incident where Milda Marcos wanted them to come for a private party. You had uh, the KKK, uh, because John had made the Jesus comments. You had be uh, Beetle burnings and people send, sending their records back. Death threats. Death threats constantly. And uh, I mean, the I, plane had bullet holes in it. So a uh, whoever it was a uh, a medium had uh, predicted they were going to crash. Yes. So it it really was coming to an end tour wise. And because the songs were so complicated, they didn't play any of them on stage. I mean, Yellow Submarine, uh, any of the songs. Uh, Eleanor Rigby. Eleanor Rigby would have been impossible to play with a string section.